It took a long time for him to come around, but I think Fabian Ryder is finally a world class. Hey guys, and welcome to the 22nd episode of the FM23 West Brom save with me, Raxo FM, where today we are playing against Newcastle and then Nottingham Forest as we try to get back to winning ways after losing our last two games against Tottenham and Wolves as we are sitting pretty up in 5th place in the Premier League, 32 points from 15 games, and still doing a very good job. Only 7 points away from the top spot, Aston Villa, so if we can come away with some wins in today's episode, we could be pushing for those top spots. And of course, I want to go over this man, Fabian Ryder, and what we have done to turn him into an awesome player. What a bargain he can be. But first, if you are excited for today's episode, please make sure you do smash the like button as well as subscribing to the Rex FM YouTube channel so you don't miss more Football Manager content just like this. Can we please smash whatever like target you can give me today? And let's quickly go over what has happened since last time we saw each other. So, it has been a decent run of form overall, I'd say. We beat Leeds, we drew to Everton away from home, beat West Ham, lost in the Carabao Cup, but straight away beat Brentford at, uh, away from home, beat Man City, Manchester United sorry, at home, lost to Tottenham and lost to Wolves, but both being away from home, I feel like they're not that bad of results. So it's, it's, it's not elite form, but it's okay form, and we're coming into a decent run here of four games that I think we could comfortably compete or I'd say win. So I'm hoping that that happens. Going into the January transfer window, we should have a lot of momentum. And the second half of the season will obviously be crucial. But I do think this man, Ryder, in CDM, has really been an unsung hero in the save. And I think he's only just really started being a world-class player. We bought him in for £22 million. I think we originally paid about 15 mil for him. Um, he's got a bunch of potential. And we've retrained him as a CDM. And he just suits the role so well. He's now able to play as a box-to-box -box midfielder and central midfielder as well, I would say, with the 10 shooting that we've given him from uh, focusing on his shooting for about three years. And he's just decent now. You know, he, he played in the championship, did a decent job. Last season, two goals, two assists. This season, one goal, two assists. And he's just doing a great job in that CDM role. I think he's a really good pickup for the price that you pay. Got great longevity and obviously still only 24 years of age. Considered to be a good Premier League player, but I think he will be a leading one at some point very soon. But I really do back him. I think it was a great sign. Recommend picking him up if you need a budget central midfielder option. Uh, yeah, Fabian Ryder, definitely not a bad player. And he actually just won um, the goal of the month. Goal of the month. There we go. See, look, there's good things going on in his career. I did need a title, to be honest. So, you know, it's good for me to talk about things every now and then. But for now, this is all we have to go off. We're, we don't have transfers to talk about. Transfers are coming in the next episode. Uh, and, I mean, this is the team that we're going with. No huge injuries. Gakpo is back. And actually, he's been pretty horrendous since he returned. He hasn't scored a single goal, I don't think, since he has come back. Which isn't ideal. I do think I back him to, to start scoring again. He was on fire at the start of the season. So I'm sure he will f come away with a couple goals here and there. And this Newcastle game should be difficult, but I back the team of Miranda. We've got Anthony, Omaragic, we've got Royale, uh, Lafont, Ryder, Gallagher, Armada, Edwards, Mudrick, and Gakpo up top. A stacked bench too. Lots of squad depth in this, in, in this team. I think we're on the right track to building a team that is willing and able to to compete in European competitions with the depth that we do have, some serious youngsters, a bit of experience here and there, uh, maybe something that we would need a wee bit more of actually if we were to get into Europe, but for now this team is working a treat and it is getting us the first attacking highlight of this game against Newcastle, it has straight away gone to them though, so I, I kind of regret saying that because I, I think it might be their highlight, as Aaron's the right back, runs forward, but gives it straight to Miranda, very easy intercept for him, and Gakpo's through, is he going to end his goal drought? No, he does not, not with a shot like that, against Seaman, uh, I think I'm saying that right, like, um, oh no, it's, it's, it's uh, German, so it's probably not Seaman. Um, but, you know, David Seaman might be a relative. He's not a relative, obviously, because he's German. But, you know, I was, I was go you know the track I was going down. But, anyway, he saved it. 
No goal for us, and now they're on the attack as Parisi runs forward, plays it into Abraham, who is an incredible player in the save. We know all about him playing for the England squad, um, as, of course, we are the manager of that team. Uh, and he does a very good job for them, so I imagine he's going to be just as good for this Newcastle side as he's coming up against us. I think that that's that new Arsenal signing at centre-back there. be interesting to see what he progresses into in Football Manager, because, to be honest, I had no idea who he was in real life. So very surprised when Arsenal picked him up for about... £25 million, pounds. even as an Arsenal fan, I was surprised by that. But he's, he's getting some ball time here in this FM save, and he's creating an attacking opportunity for his side, playing it all the way back to him once again. Moves it forward into James Madison, plays it back into their winger, trying to find space, trying to find the angle, and it's coming off Tammy Abraham, and I think that is a bit of luck there. He's just put the ball into the right area, to be fair to him, and it's come off one of our players, gone straight into the path of Tammy, and Tabby taps it home. That is a that is an, a disappointing way to concede, but it, it's it's always going to happen if if you get the ball in the right area, you get a bit of a lucky bounce. It's a, yeah, it's always likely to go into the back of the net. Yeah, the, this is the man. He looks like he's got great potential actually. Make him feel a lot better about the signing of it. Although, in, in this they did pick him up for five point five. Arsenal paid about four times that, so you know. Hey. But th this is the fictional game. We we're focusing on the fictional game right now, not real life football. And we want to get back into this game. As currently, it is, I think, pretty even. But Newcastle obviously have the upper hand with the goal. And a bit of a higher XG too. So clearly they've been creating some decent opportunities off camera as well. And we, not creating as many great opportunities, but have more shots than them. So let's see if we can create another shot and a better opportunity here as Anthony plays it forward into Almada. Mudrick running onto it. Has been playing well this season, but not a great pass from him there. Aaron's is forced to pump it long, so Gallagher picks it straight back up. Gakpo almost collects, but it comes down to Edwards, who skips past a few defenders and honestly should be scoring from that kind of region. I think he has got the ability to roll that one home on his favourite left foot, right in front of the goalkeeper, cutting inside just like he is used to. He should be finishing it. Unfortunately, it's still 1-0 on the scoreline. But Mudrick's in, and I'm complaining about the right winger not being able to finish his dinner, cutting inside, going on his favoured foot. Mudrick hears me, and he does the exact same. Cuts inside on his favoured right foot this time from the left-hand side, and he scores to make it 1-0. That is a beautiful goal. Gallagher always finding those pristine passes, and Mudrick has been doing that a lot this season. He was not as good at it last year. Honestly, I was thinking about selling them at the start of the season uh, because we are going to pay about £24 million extra once he hits 50 appearances, which is obviously a ton of money. It's going to come straight out of, our, uh, out of our transfer budget, so I'm a little nervous for that. But it's probably worth it now because he is scoring goals. He is about that value, um, so we are going to probably stick with him. Don't think I'll be looking to sell unless... You know, there's a big demand for him, and we get a massive bid, in which case, I probably wouldn't say no. But hey, it's 1-1 on one the night, and Madrick is the reason it is 1-1 on one the night. I am going to tell them I'm delighted with the performance so far, because I actually am more happy with it than I am um, than I am unhappy with it, because we've had 14 shots. They've had five. We've gone, we've come back into the game since I've, uh, since I've scored that goal. Now, unfortunately, the man I'm talking about, Ryder, is looking tired, so Timber is coming straight on. Uh, we're also not seeing a lot from Gakpo, so you know what, I'm going to give him a bit of a warning, bring Balakwisha on, and see how he does for a game. He does get a lot of appearances, that man, Balakwisha, uh, but not many up top, because we, I, I just back Gakpo. He's got good stats, he's, he's scoring for fun at the start of the season, but after picking up that injury, he's just been horrendous. And Balakwisha might be the man to come in, score a goal off the bench for us, and potentially even push for that starting role. So let's give him a crack here, see what he does. Anthony's on the ball into Miranda, Miranda moves it into Gallagher, Edwards is in, he gets a second bite of the cherry, this time he does score it, I'm talking about, you know, he missed the earlier chance, I think he could be onside, I wouldn't put money on it, we're going to the review, and he is considered to be onside, get in, that's exactly what we needed, another assist for Conor Gallagher too, really good performance by that man during this game, and oh, he's comfortably onside, takes it probably a touch further than he probably would, uh, would want to, but, it's, it's gone in the back of the net. He's curled it around the goalkeeper. That's all we need. And it is 2-1 to, uh, to West Brom against Newcastle to put us in a decent position to push for those European spots. Well, obviously, it's it's not, not the end of the season quite yet, but 
we're in the right position right now, at the very least, as Miranda picks it up in the fence, uh, plays it back to Timber, and Mudrick gets it. Almada in that midfield role, not done a whole lot today, but always connecting the play, always finding the passes. And here is Balakwisha off the woodwork. Oh, that would have done so well for him. I want to say, I think he might have started in the next game if he scored that one. But he's got more opportunities, 20 minutes of football left to play, as they have a great free kick saved by our goalkeeper. Uh, we're going to bring on a young left back. Uh, I, I can't remember what we decided his name was going to be. Silas, that's right, because his uh, names are very difficult to pronounce. And I've got to bring someone off. I've got to bring someone off. Nah, I don't. I'll save the last two subs for later in the game. But now that's all I feel the need to do. Left back switch. Miranda has been playing well, but with a yellow card and a wee bit of a tired uh, heart, it does make me think. Maybe it is best to rotate. And Neves was very close from the last free, uh, free kick. I don't like our positioning. It's off the woodwork. Lafont, I do think you need to be a bit further over there. Luckily, it hasn't cost us. And luckily, we are still 2-1 up in this game. Ten minutes to go now. I'm probably going to make those final two substitutes just to give us completely fresh re legs in there. Uh, Mariba's going to come. Yeah, Mariba's going to come on. And let's get Leo on. Leo is not playing a lot of football, and I feel quite bad for him because <laughs> he is good. He is good. We paid fifteen million pounds for him. He's got good stats, but I just I love Anthony. Anthony's been here for so long, played really well the entire time, and he's still got a wee bit of potential. And the new signing uh, uh, in the form of Omaragic has been really good too, and he's got more potential as well. I just think that they're, they're the nailed on centre backs for me. And we even got a target in the January transfer window that's a centre back too. That's just elite. So I'm not sure Leo's got a whole lot more time in this football club. But we'll focus on what's happening in this game right now, not on the transfers. We'll focus on them next episode. So do not miss it. It will be a good transfer window. I, I, I kind of guarantee it. I can't make any promises, but I'm pretty sure it will be a decent one. But it is Newcastle on the ball right now, and that is nervy. Mariba off the bench, fresh legs. That's why we make these substitutes. Makes the inter makes the tackle though. Puts a ball into the mixer, and Gallagher. He is gonna get a team of the week card in foot uh, in FIFA this 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 week in real life. If if it was real life, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. If he's played incredibly well this game, one goal, two assists, pops up and scores the header to guarantee the three points. I would say moving us into fourth place, and that man is definitely. The reason we have won this game. Connor Gallagher, mate. What a signing he was. Picked him up for such a cheap fee of like, what, four million pounds or something like that? Knew that he had the ability. He knew that he had the ability. He's just stayed in the first team squad for years and years. Been a great signing. Absolutely influential all over the pitch. And he's led to us getting three points here. Maybe I should have uh, talked about Gallagher at the start of the episode. And that probably would have made more sense based off what's happening in, in today's game. But hey. Ryder, obviously a great player too, but today is all about Conor Gallagher coming in. For how much? It was it was eight million pounds. Eight million pounds. Scored one, got eight assists in the championship for the second half of the season. Three goals, six assists last year, and already looking like he will better at this season with two goals, three assists from thirteen appearances. What a signing, what a player. And he's a central midfield player that you just need in your team. Four-star current ability, considered to be a good Premier League player. I think he's world-class. He is such a good player. But now we've got to go away from home against Nottingham Forest. I do think it should be a comfy win, a comfy win with them down in 19th place. But I have a question. Do I start Gakpo? Yeah, I think I definitely do. We move up to third place if we win this game. Jumping into it, we're using the exact same lineup as last game. And I do back the boys. I don't back Mudrick. He looks tired as. Okay, let's get let's get Andrew Hall in there. I just I just like playing that youngster. He's not that insanely good, but he's a young player come through the West Brom Academy. I, I guarantee the fans absolutely adore him. So we'll give him a crack in this game. He's 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 filling big big shoes here. Mudrick, obviously one of the best players in our team. But hey, Hall, he's got the experience in the Prem. Well, a wee bit of experience in the Prem. So he will do he will do good. And speaking of players that have experience in the Prem. Just experience with us. Howard Ballas is a man that we're playing against here. Good to see him again after leaving us uh, for like a, six, a eight million pound release clause or something like that uh, after we got relegated. I, I had no idea that release clause was even a thing to be. I think I was just I was just focused on staying in the prem and getting these players signed. 
I left a pretty decent um, release cause, although we did get a, a good profit. Oh, almost getting an assist there. Gakpo still cannot score, um, but yeah, probably shouldn't have left that one. I still regret the Rasmus uh, release cause. That that one hurts. That one still hurts quite a bit. But we did make a, a huge profit on him, obviously, but oh, it would have been nice to keep him. But another player that we have brought in instead of Rasmus, I guess, Almada. I, I guess we used the money exactly. Or do we sign? No, we signed him when we were in the prem. We we didn't use that money. But Almada is a good player. I'm done. I was just trying to connect it, to be honest. And another assist for Gallagher. He is on fire at the moment. It's a poor save by the goalkeeper. But Almada, he can just place it, put it into the back of the net, and that's exactly what he's done to make it one 0 on the night. And the Nottingham Forest fans cannot be chuffed. Their team is down in nineteenth place with nine points, and the one 0 down after just twenty five minutes could be two 0 here. As Edwards tries to get the ball into the mixer, gets a second bite and does it himself, putting it into the back of the net. So much power on that hit, and that is a convincing goal. That is a great finish by that man. Two and two games too. He's looking like he is on form at the moment. Look at this. Picks it up, takes it past Harwood Ballas, puts it into the back of the net. The goalkeeper arguably could be doing better there, but there's just so much pace on it. It is hard to save. It's hard to see. But he's made it 2-0 for us, and that's all we care about. 10 minutes to go until halftime. And it is looking like we're going to come away with a, a convincing win in this game so far. But anything can happen in the second half. We're still going to have to be on the ball. We're still going to want to see a goal from Gakpo, because he cannot score to save his life. I sneezed, so I need to pause it. And we'll come straight back with the highlight. Oh, no. And this is another player that I swear we had. Nino scoring against his former club. I'm pretty certain we had him. He was like a, a striker that we picked up for real cheap. Am I correct? I am correct. Yeah, £2.3 million we brought him in for. Sold him for £5 million. He's now worth £30 million. <laughs> I knew he was good when we signed him, but I didn't really need to play him because I think we were using Brewster at that point in time. So, yeah, we were pretty locked down in the striker area. I think I just picked him up because I knew I'd be able to turn a profit for him. But I, th I think Nottingham Forest are also going to turn a profit on him. Uh, but we have another highlight here. 64th minute, a bit more of a quiet second half for us, and it is them on the ball again. Oh, that's not what you want to see. They could certainly bring it back. 2 0 down is a, is a dangerous scoreline, they always say, because if they get one back, momentum switches, and it looks like it has switched here. They play it in, put it into the mixer. Lafont makes a good save there. Calm hands, and we're going to make some substitutes. Gallagher's going to come off because he is looking tired. The Mareeb is a like-for-like -like replacement. Edwards, even though he scored, going to come off. And we're going to switch uh, Hall onto that right-hand side. Because I've been training him on that right-hand side for ages. And he can now kind of do a job out there. So we're giving him a, another crack on the right-hand side. Confuse the defenders as well. You know, left-back, right-back. Going to have to switch the players that they're defending. See who they can pick up. See how they can defend them. And Mudrick surely is going to give us a wee bit of a boost off the bench. Ten minutes to go, though. Still no Gakpo goal. I'm going to let him play the game out, but I am quite disappointed in the fact that he hasn't scored. We're going to go for the classic substitute of uh, Silas on for Miranda, giving him some game experience, and we've got one substitute left. I guess we'll make it now just because the time's running out. Um, Emerson's looking tired. Scally deserves a bit of game time. Let's make that. Hope that no more highlights take place. I'm fine with that. I mean, another goal for us wouldn't do, be too bad, but a 2-1 win is decent too. And we've come away with six points from a possible six from this episode. And I will absolutely take that. Away from home against a, a Nottingham Forest side. A win is all you want, really. Because those are always the ban banana skin sort of situations. And again, Newcastle are a decent team. 3-1 win. It's a convincing win. I'll take those results. Very happy with it. And for now, that is all we have time for. Thank you so much for watching this one. If you have enjoyed it, smash the like button as well as subscribing. I will catch you in the January transfer window where we will be making some awesome signings. And I will see you all.